Okay, we're going to find out if this series converges or diverges. So what I would do with this one is first rewrite it. So if we were going to rewrite this, uh, we're going to use some of those exponent properties. So this would be 2 to the k times 2 to the negative 1 times 3 to the k times 3 to the 1. And we have this over k to the k. Now we have a constant there because we have 2 to the power of negative 1, which is the same as having 2 in the denominator and we have three in the numerator, that's three halves. So this is being um, multiplied by three halves. Since it's a constant, we can always bring it outside of the series. We can bring it outside of the series and have it like this. Now, everything here is being taken to the power of k. This is taken to the power of k, and that's all taken to the power of k. So we can bring this out and have it like this to the power of k. This is being multiplied, so that's going to give us 6. 6 over k to the power of k in the series. So what that's telling us is, hey, we could take the root test. That's probably the best thing we could do, because we have a variable exponent. So we take it to the k root, and we have 6 over k to the k. So the, that exponent goes away with this k root. And we're, we were taking the limit as n approaches infinity of all of this, remember. So we had three halves outside of our series being multiplied to it. And the limit as n approaches infinity of this is going to give us uh, zero. Because we plug infinity into a denominator that has six as a numerator. The six is obliterated to zero. So zero times three halves is zero. Zero times three halves is zero and 0 is less than 1. So by the root test, this absolutely converges, which implies that it also converges, which was what the question was asking, whether it converges or diverges. If this had been greater than 1, it would diverge. If it had been equal to 1, it would have been inconclusive by uh, the root test. But since it's less than 1, it converges.